Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to Puan Talks. I am Elsa Imdad, and I am a Global Year grad alumna, and I'm also a coordinator at Lincoln Corner, Hyderabad, and I'm the president of Park US Alumni Network, Jamsharu chapter. I welcome you all to today's uh, session on American Spaces in Pakistan Engagement Opportunities for I would first introduce our esteemed speakers for today's session. We have uh, Ms. Monica Davis. She is the regional, uh, um, she's the regional public engagement specialist in Islamabad in charge of, she previously worked two years um, in the public affairs section of uh, embassy in Islamabad on social media and special projects. She also served in Mexico and Cambodia as a cultural affairs officer before joining the foreign service. Monica was a civil servant and worked on Africa related issues where she spent a year in South Sudan witnessing the independence of the world's youngest country. She speaks German, Spanish, Khmer, Cambodian and is from Georgetown, Texas. Then we have Ms. Afsha Amir. She is working as the country director of American Spaces um, in Pakistan at the US Embassy Stambad. With more than 20 years of public diplomacy experience with the embassy, she has worked on establishment and is currently serving as American Center Director. Ms. Amir has, uh, has a master's in public diplomacy and management from Carnegie Mellon, Mellon University and a master's degree in applied psychology from the University of Punjab. Ms. Amir has also uh, a certification in nonviolent communication and received from Switzerland. I would now start our panel discussion. My first question is addressed to Monica. What are Lincoln Corners and what are their primary goals? Well, thank you so much, Elsa. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today. And thank you to Juan, to Shanila and others who have organized this event. We are so excited to be here and to be talking to all of our amazing alumni out there. Um, and I'm very excited to tell you more about Lincoln Corners. Um, so the Lincoln Corners here in Pakistan are what we call American spaces. Um, so we call our American spaces here in Pakistan Lincoln Corners. And these spaces are named after President Abraham Lincoln. Probably a lot of you know about him. Um, if you've studied in the United States, um, you know that he was famous for giving the Gettysburg Address um, and for many other things. Um, so Lincoln Corners here in Pakistan are based in local host institutions, um, including libraries at universities and cultural centers. Um, so they are part of this larger worldwide network of American spaces. Um, we have over 600 spaces across the world in many, many countries. Um, our primary goals are to promote critical thinking and thoughtful discussion of issues important to the U.S. relationship with Pakistan um, and important to U.S. global interests. So these American spaces serve as also development platforms for people, projects, and products. So they offer room to um, coordinate, to meet other people, to meet Americans, um, and to use our resources in these spaces. Um, so the spaces offer training, they offer programs um, uh, of both hard and soft skills. Um, so we, we offer trainings on different themes each month, and they're strategically aligned with our public diplomacy goals and what our mission here in Pakistan is working towards. Um, so the staff at the U.S. Mission to Pakistan work together with our coordinators like Elsa um, at our different Lincoln Corners to create programs um, for specific audiences, um, and then to evaluate those programs and evaluate those outcomes. 
Um, so our Lincoln Corners are very special places. Um, they offer many different resources, and I think we'll talk more about those later. Um, but we definitely hope that you will, if you haven't been before, that you all will get involved and go and visit. And we'll be talking more about that, I think, um, in a few minutes. Back to you, Elsa. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Monica. My next question to you is, if you haven't already answered that in the first part of your question, how many Lincoln Corners are there and where are they located? Well, thank you um, for that question. I'm going to try to share my screen. Please let me know if you're able to see this. Uh, there we go. Can you see this map? Um, not yet, but yes, now we can. Okay. Perfect. Um, so we have 19 American spaces across Pakistan, and this includes 18 different Lincoln corners. Um, as you can see, they are all across Pakistan um, in the Islamabad consular district, um, in Punjab, in Peshawar um, area, and of course in the Karachi area and Sindh. Um, so we just added a new um, Lincoln Corner just a few days ago to our network um, in Bahari um, at the University of Education. Um, so we're very excited about that opening and hope people living in the Bahari area can go visit our new Lincoln Corner. But as you can see, there are many different Lincoln Corners across Pakistan. So I hope our alumni will be able to find one close to them to go visit and to participate in programming. Um, so we also have an American space, American center here at the US Embassy uh, in Islamabad, in addition to these Lincoln Corners. I'm going to stop my screen share there. Yes. It's a refresher for me because I keep um, looking at that information, so thank you. Um, my next question to you is, what are the five program pillars that Lincoln Corner focus on? Thank you. So um, we have five main areas that our programming in these Lincoln Corners focuses on. So the first is Education um, USA. So um, if you don't know, Education USA is a US government um, uh, run program that offers free advising services to students interested in studying in the United States. Um, and they are located within um, US EFP. Um, and Education USA offers free advising services. Um, so uh, if you know friends, family interested in studying in the United States, Education USA is a wonderful resource to point them to. And so our Linking Corners helps to promote Education USA. Um, we, in, before COVID times, um, we normally have advisors who come in and do programs about studying in the United States in our Lincoln Corners. Um, of course, right now, a lot of that's being done virtually, um, but we definitely support Education USA and the mission um, it has to promote studying in the United States. Um, the second pillar we work on, the second programming aspect we work on is information about the United States. So this is um, accurate information that we push out about the United States. Um, it could be anything from um, information about different states in the United States. We recently had a program about Oregon and about Pennsylvania. Um, and uh, it could be something about um, holidays in the United States. Um, history in the United States. Um, so many different aspects of just accurate information about the United States. We also work on cultural programming about the United States. Um, so this can be, you know, anything from um, uh, Halloween and holidays to, um, uh, you know, what's, um, what's kind of culturally appropriate in the United States. Um, so it could be all aspects of American culture. Um, we work on English language learning. Um, so we're currently running a program called Global Virtual School, which connects American students uh, with Pakistani students. Um, 
and the Pakistani students are learning English from the American student volunteers. So we do work on English language learning. And of course, many of our resources, our books, um, our magazines, um, you know, those are available um, for, for use free of charge um, to help you learn English. And the last area we work on, but very much the most important in my opinion is alumni. Um, so our Lincoln Corners, we want to, to extend um, our Lincoln Corners to you. They should be your spaces. Um, our alumni um, are incredibly important here in Pakistan. Um, you all have experienced the United States firsthand, many of you, um, and can, can be the biggest advocates of um, you know, what it's really like in the United States, um, what that experience was really like, um, how it changed your life, how it impacted your life. Um, and the Lincoln Corners um, can be an opportunity for you to give back to your community. Now that you're back here in Pakistan, um, you can tell others about what it was like in the United States, about the, the specific program you went on, um, recommendations for the program, um, for getting the most out of it, for applying for the program. Uh, we want you to be engaged with our audiences um, and we definitely welcome um, your involvement as a speaker um, or uh, just coming to our corners and, um, and meeting people, using the resources. These corners should be your corners. So that's the last area that we work on in our programming is alumni engagement. Thank you. Okay. Um, my next question is from is for Afsha. Um, that's the question I usually uh, get asked about a lot from the visitors as well. Uh, when and why was this need felt to initiate this bilateral project? Thank you, Asa. Um, I think I'm, I'll be able to answer this question well as I've been associated with Lincoln Corners program for um, more than 20 years now. So I was there when we were actually establishing these uh, corners in different parts of uh, the country. So around uh, 2002, 2003, the American centers which were US government owned uh, American Culture Center or American so-called libraries they moved into the embassy or the consulates, which are not uh, very openly accessible. So there was a huge need uh, from uh, students and uh, Pakistanis who were interested to get information about uh, US and, and they couldn't easily visit uh, American centers. At the same time, US Department of State uh, was initiating starting a new program by the name of American Corners, which was very popular in Russia at that time. And American corners are what now we call uh, Lincoln corners or American spaces. And uh, in those times, uh, Pakistani libraries were mostly, uh, they had collections of books and they were quite spaces. So this idea of having state of the art technology, computers, discussion spaces or programming spaces was really novel uh, to have all of that in a library. So uh, we introduced this program and there were a number of uh, Pakistani universities who approached us um, in, in Islamabad and Peshawar, and then a community center in Karachi. So uh, that's how we work with local organizations and then um, opened our first uh, Lincoln Corner in Peshawar in 2006. Over to you Elsa. Thank you. Um, before I move to my next question, I would also like to request our audience that uh, if they have any questions about Lincoln Corners or any feedback about the session, they are welcome to share that in the comments. My next question is now addressed to Monica again. Um, who are the target audience of Lincoln Corners? Thank you, Elsa. Um, so we have many different audiences. Um, the corners themselves are, of course, located at different universities and libraries and cultural institutes. So, of course, people studying at those universities or working at the libraries or 
visiting the libraries are welcome to come to our programs. Um, but really, the corners are open to, to anyone interested in getting information about the United States. Um, I think our corners are particularly useful for students and for academics um, because we offer many great um, research uh, resources like books, magazines, electronic databases for scholarly research, um, as well as um, 3D printers, virtual reality headsets, um, what we call maker spaces um, for doing more creative, like hands-on innov innovative uh, programming. Um, so really anyone interested in getting information about the United States, anyone interested in improving their English skills, meeting an American maybe for the first time, um, we often bring American speakers um, into these spaces, either virtually or in person, um, as well as um, so anyone interested in being an entrepreneur, we've had a large focus over the last year on um, business skills and helping entrepreneurs in Pakistan. We just concluded a program called Academy for Women on Women's Entrepreneurship, um, AWE, um, which trained about 60 um, female uh, Pakistani entrepreneurs. So anyone interested in also starting a business is very welcome in our Lincoln Corners. Um, and of course, the target audience, um, especially for this session, is alumni. We want to reach out to more alumni. We want to engage um, you all and give you a space um, to, um, to return to your experience in the United States, um, to share your experiences from the United States um, with other Pakistanis who are also interested in either studying abroad or um, improving their English skills. Um, so this, these again should be your spaces. So I hope you'll start to think of them as your spaces as well. Thanks, Monica. Um, my next question is addressed to you again. What kind of opportunities do the corners offer for alumni in Pakistan? How can they benefit from Lincoln Corners? And what kind of participation is requested from the alumni? Yes, um, so we're organizing this session to try to um, reach out to alumni and get more alumni involved in our Lincoln Corners. There are many different ways to get involved. Um, we certainly need, always need speakers um, on many different topics. So not only about studying in the United States, um, although that's a very important topic and very interesting to many Pakistanis. Um, so you could talk about, you know, your exchange program that you went on, whether it was Global UGrad or SUSE or IBLP or Fulbright or yes, um, I know there are so many different exchange programs. Um, so speaking about those is always very welcome um, and to tell people about your firsthand experience in the United States. Um, and about, you know, what, what kind of food you ate, were able to eat. I know many people are always concerned about what they'll be able to eat in the United States. Um, if you can share, you know, where you found food, um, how you dealt with the weather, how you dealt with cultural differences, and how the experience has made a difference in your life. Um, so speaking opportunities on topics like that are always fantastic. Um, but we also welcome speaking opportunities on many other different topics. So if you're an expert in business or in, um, in some other topic in human rights or in um, uh, religious freedom or whatever you might be an expert in, um, we are happy to, to hear um, you share your experiences. Um, a lot of what we do is professional development for young students. So, um, especially if you're a more experienced alumni um, and want to give back and want to explain what you do and um, how you got to where you are now, that would be fantastic. Um, we also welcome facilitators or moderators if you're interested um, uh, in serving as a facilitator or a moderator for some of our programs, that would be amazing as well. Um, so if you are interested and you are available to join some of our programs, you can reach out to um, our alumni office in the public affairs section of the embassy, or you can directly contact a Lincoln Corner closest to you um, on our website. And I'm going to try to share my screen so you can see exactly where it is. Oops. 
Are you able to see that? Uh, can you see my the website or no? See a page, uh, the map, Lincoln Corner map. Okay, okay. Um, so this is our website. If you go to pk.usembassy.gov, um, you can see it has all of the contact information of all of our Lincoln Corners. Um, so feel free to email them and let our corners know that you're interested in serving as a speaker um, or getting involved in our programming. Um, and they will certainly be happy to hear from you. Back over to you, Elsa, thanks. Elsa, are you there? Okay. Um, yes, I'm back. <laughs> um, I was just connected in the mid. Um, now my next question is something that I was also thinking a lot about that why would, why would Pakistanis be interested in information about the United States? So my next question is addressed to Afshan. As you mentioned that one of the core areas that Lincoln Corners focus on is information about the United States. Could you please elaborate on what is of interest for the Pakistani audiences? Uh, thank you, Elsa. Um, so Pakistanis are interested uh, in a variety of areas related to US, US history, US culture. Um, over the years, what I've noticed that um, the opportunity to meet with the real American, that is of great interest to uh, our Pakistani audiences. Um, over, other than that, uh, education, US scholarship opportunities, as Monica also mentioned, those are very popular. Uh, you know, opportunity to go to the US for studying uh, and or being part of any exchange program, uh, getting information about that is very, very popular. Then movies, American movie, Hollywood, uh, that's of course very popular. Uh, and uh, sometimes uh, people come to watch uh, movies, having discussion on movies or conversation clubs uh, related to movies that are happening at the corners, that's of very, much importance. Um, academic research, um, as mentioned earlier by Monica, databases, we have access to a lot of databases. Collection is called eLibrary USA, uh, through which um, uh, students and researchers can access a number of databases and that is very popular at Lincoln Corners. Then programming on a variety of topics because Lincoln Corners are usually very busy uh, programming on, on one topic or another, whether it's um, women's empowerment or um, freedom of information or related topics, there's a lot of interest to uh, participate in those uh, programs. And of course, they provide professional development opportunities, which are always very popular. Um, and then uh, getting to know about American culture, like American holidays, for example, Thanksgiving is coming up in, in November. So people are interested, they want to know the history of Thanksgiving or you know, what are the foods uh, that are popular in, in the US. So uh, those are some of the areas that are of a uh, lot of interest uh, to Pakistani audiences. Thank you, Afsha. Uh, my next question is again addressed to you. Um, are there any major success stories of Lincoln Corners you would like to talk about? Any educational or cultural programs that you think made a huge impact? Yes, of course. Um, uh, so over the years, we have had a lot of successes, a lot of programs that have done very well. Uh, more recently, I would say the programming, uh, virtual programming has been a big success. 
uh, we have, uh, due to COVID, we had to shift to virtual programming as most of uh, other people uh, were doing. And that provided an opportunity for us to engage with audiences for, with all around the country. It was not just limited to Islamabad, Karachi, or Lahore, but anybody who had internet access or a cell phone or a laptop would actually participate in our program, which was a huge success. And we were able to reach out to a lot of new audiences. Then I think um, modernizing Pakistani libraries, uh, I think that is uh, one of major success stories, um, starting from, as I mentioned earlier, you know, libraries as, as uh, as locations, venues for book collections only to where we are now, where we have very modern uh, Lincoln Corners. And even that has an impact, uh, impact on general libraries as well as Monica showed uh, a Lincoln Corner and Bahari. Um, so um, those kind of libraries are, I think that's an impact that has uh, is, is a success story. Then trained staff, our, our coordinators like yourself, I think that's that's a huge success story. They are the face of our corners and they represent our Lincoln Corners. They are trained um, and they can provide you reliable information. They can guide you to the authoritative resources, to the books or other information. So I think they're a success story. And then um, how can we forget our volunteers? We started this Friends of the Corner program um, about seven years ago. Uh, they are Lincoln Corner volunteers. Now it's a huge uh, network of volunteers that we have in most of our spaces. This gives our volunteers the opportunities to expand their networks and participate and contribute or lead a variety of programs. Our alumni can be part of uh, the volunteer group, especially in public libraries, because the university libraries are mostly focusing on their own um, community, the university community, but uh, in public libraries, this uh, opportunity for uh, uh, alumni to become volunteers for the Lincoln Corners. Thank you. Thanks, Afshan. That was um, very informative. Um, we have got some questions from our audiences as well. Some of the answers I know, but I would like both of you to answer. Um, there is a question from Hina Khan. Is there any Lincoln Corner in Azad Kashmir? Uh, maybe Afshan, you can answer that. Sure, uh, we have a corner in um, Lincoln Corner, Muzaffarabad, which is at uh, AJK University, Azad Jammu and Kashmir University. It's in the main city campus. Yeah. It's functioning well. And uh, we have Muhammad Umar. He is asking, um, is there a way to is there a way to connect Lincoln Corner with with Puan Sakhar chapter? Hmm. Um, so uh, since Elsa, you're in in uh, Hyderabad, I think you will be able to answer that well. But I'm sure. Um, our Lincoln Corner in Kherpur, uh, which is uh, quite close to Sakha, uh, I think uh, that that can be a good connection between uh, those two units. Also, we have a Lincoln Corner in Larkana, which is much farther than Sakha, but I would assume that that's, I mean, both of these corners are in vicinity of Sakha. So our alumni are most welcome to visit. Yes, um, and I think I would be happy to connect to My next question is to Monica. Are Lincoln Corners open again? Um, that's a great question. And we definitely want to get back to being completely open 100%, but we do have to follow, you know, COVID protocols and make sure that we are keeping people safe. Um, but if 
the Lincoln Corner, if the host institution where the Lincoln Corner is located is open, um, most of our Lincoln Corners then are open. Ooh, sorry, I, there's an announcement going on here, but yes, if the host institution is open, they are. Okay, thank you, Monica. Um, we have a question from Noman Ali again. Um, he's asking that, uh, do you think Lincoln Corners can be more helpful to people who are scared of uh, joining such spaces? I believe he's talking about um, joining spaces which are related to the United States. Um, so can you please repeat the question again, Elsa? Um, so Noman probably wants to know that, do you think Lincoln Corners can be helpful in terms of getting rid of stereotypes that people might have about America? Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, Lincoln Corners are there to provide uh, authoritative, authentic information about the US. So. Uh, I would encourage uh, Pakistanis to visit these uh, Lincoln Corners where you can have access to all these books and resources, uh, technology, virtual technology, uh, where you can visit maybe spaces in, in the US uh, through virtual technology or meet with an American. So this is a great opportunity to visit the corners. And, and if you have any questions or you wanna do some research, the resources available at Lincoln Corners. Uh, we have a question from uh, from a Juan alumni. Um, can we conduct trainings at Lincoln Corners? I think I can answer that. Um, yes, you certainly can. Um, wherever you are, you can get in touch with the closest corner located in your city, or you can um, message us on our Facebook pages of Lincoln Corners Sindh or Lincoln Corners Pakistan and we would get in touch with you. The next question we have, um, it is for either of you can answer that. Um, are there any forthcoming capacity building training opportunities in the field of freelancing? Hmm. Freelancing, um, uh, I cannot think of any upcoming opportunity, but this is a good idea. Maybe this is something we can work on if there is an interest to uh, come up with a program related to this. We have, um, as Monica mentioned in her talk, that um, on Global Virtual School, which is um, English skills, uh, that that's, we have done a program on that, or entrepreneurship, that had been a recent program, very successful program. Uh, but freelancing, that's a good idea. Maybe uh, if there's uh, more interest, uh, we, can, we can start something on that. Um, just to add to that, I know that we have previously done freelancing events um, in the Karachi area. Um, so I'm sure we'll continue to do um, some events to that topic um, if it's of interest. Okay. Um, I believe Monica has a video to show us. Uh, Monica, would you? Sure, thank you. Um, I just wanted to give people a sense of what some of our corners look like. Um, this is just a very brief video um, from our newest corner in um, Bahari um, in the Punjab. So um, I hope it gives you a sense of kind of the modern um, space. It's um, a great looking space and would be a great place um, and will be a great place for programming and studying and doing research. So I hope you enjoy um, this short clip. Thanks.
I think that gives you a sense, hopefully um, you were able to see that of um, kind of the modern new space. Um, and we definitely hope that our alumni will come visit, um, come contact um, our linking corners across Pakistan and be part of our programming. Uh, we welcome you to, to the linking corners and really um, look forward to working with you all. Um, I know many of you have already done programs for us and we greatly appreciate that and thank you. Um, for doing those programs. Um, for those of you who haven't been involved yet, um, we definitely would love to, to get you involved and um, to hear from you. Um, so please reach out to the Lincoln Corner closest to you um, or to our alumni office here in the public affairs section at the embassy. Thank you. Thank you, Monica and Afsha. I think this uh, whole session was very informative and very much needed because I uh, get asked a lot of those questions that uh, we just discussed. And I believe um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of stereotypes and misunderstandings <clears throat> and a lot of questions have been cleared. So thank you for taking our time and for doing this. I would, <clears throat> pardon me. I would also like to thank uh, Parkia's alumni network for hosting this and collaborating uh, with LCs for this session. Um, and I would like to thank our audiences for uh, being so patient and for being, for uh, asking all the right questions. Thank you. Have a great day. <laughs>